We're here with Josh Tracy. Josh, JL's just broken the good news. What's going through your head right now? Um, yeah, a fair bit, honestly. It's all happened pretty quick, obviously, with uncertainty of what was going to unfold this week. Um, be yeah, obviously pretty stoked and excited to get out there Sunday. You actually called the meeting with Justin this morning. Can you tell us why you did that? Just wanted to sort of know where I sat um, in the team and, you know, if there was anything extra that I needed to add to my um, game or anything like that that would you know, get me into the team to be able to do something. Um, and he just yeah, sort of sprang it on me and said that uh, there's nothing you because you'll be playing on the weekend. So I bet that was quite unexpected. Uh, what are some of the things JL said to you as to why you will be playing this weekend? Um, just a few things like uh, my competitiveness. Um, said pretty clean for a bigger bike and um, the skills go all right. So I think that um, hopefully will hold me in good stead on Sunday. It felt like a, a journey to get here. The past month there was that waffle suspension that saw you unavailable for rounds one and two. Um, when you look back and reflect on the past sort of month, how do you reflect on that? Plenty of ups and downs, that's for sure. Um, it was pretty tough at one stage there to obviously cop the suspension. Um, but then, you know, for Joey and the team to sort of work with the AFL and get that changed around and now to be sort of available to run out and play, it's, it's pretty exciting. You were picked up in the rookie draft. Uh, can you talk us through that? And did you imagine a debut would come so early for you? Uh, not really, no. I probably didn't even expect to be on a list, if I'm really honest. Obviously, not getting picked up on the draft night was pretty tough. Um, but then, obviously, the um, rookie draft come around the next day and was lucky enough to be selected by Freo and, um, yeah, loved being over here ever since and don't really want to go home. And you really impressed throughout that pre-season period. What were some of your biggest drivers or some of your biggest mentors here at the club? Um, I actually think in our quarantine group, um, how we locked away, I think that helped a lot. I was able to build connection with the Victorian boys um, closer and sort of break down the group um, to get them to know them a little bit better. And uh, I suppose Tabs was one of the main ones that's helped me along the way. Um, him and Rory have been really good. And then, yeah, just bouncing off everyone else because there's so many good players to bounce off in the group and even staff um, and coaches and stuff like that. So it's been really good. The Hawks uh, this weekend, personally for you, what are some of your focuses heading into your first game? Um, just obviously to stick to my role, do what I have to for the team and, um, yeah, just do what they ask of me and hopefully they do as I ask of them and um, hopefully things just fall into place and um, we have a good day. And we're at Optus Stadium in front of the Purple Army. Uh, a couple of weeks ago against the Giants, you were watching on from the sidelines, but what do you imagine that feeling is going to be like running out in front of the loud screaming fans? It's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, I actually got goosebumps like watching and listening to the crowd and that. So, yeah, just get out there and sort of embrace it and switch on as quick as I can and sort of get in the moment and uh, yeah, just play footy.